eight, as you can see, our children in KG are all set for their celebration of learning. So let's have a little while to see if everybody joins us. I think almost everybody is here. Let me just see if all of our classes are with us. Um, okay, I think so. Okay, grade six are coming. I think everyone is joining. Okay. Let me see. Okay, it is 12.10. And at the minute, there is no one in the waiting room. So I think everyone is here. If anyone joins us, they can join us. So let me see our children in KG. Good morning, KG. How or good afternoon? Good afternoon, Sister Barry. Okay, KG, are you ready to share for your celebration of learning? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. So, welcome everybody to the celebration of learning that is going to be led by our children in kindergarten. The celebration of learning is an opportunity for them to share everything they have learned about their unit of inquiry. And I know they've been working very, very hard on this and we're very, really looking forward to it. Can I just ask everyone or remind everyone, please stay muted during the uh, celebration of learning and then at the end of the celebration of learning there'll be an opportunity to ask questions there'll be an opportunity to make comments and say anything and congratulate your children so if you can just please remember to stay muted so that we can hear and see everything that the children are going to tell us so Nishan, Sridika, Cyrus, Bez, Aisha, Peyton, are you ready? Yeah! Okay, then I am going to hand over to kindergarten for their celebration of learning. Hello, everyone. You are all welcome to our celebration of learning today. Join us to enjoy what we have learned today so how we organize ourselves. Our central idea is products go through a process of change before they are consumed or used. Our lines of inquiry are the process of production, the role of people in production, and the impact on our product choices on the environment. To start our unit, we try to find out what different products are. We found out that products are anything that people use or consume that satisfy their needs. From our central idea, a product must go to a process of change. So a focus on process goods. We know that process goods are manufactured goods that use raw material for nature. These are used to make different materials like plastic, fabric, metal, wood, and also food.
be invented the different product from uh, of how they are produced from their source and this is what we found. Now we will tell you about a food product, bread. How it is made with our little play. Sit back and enjoy. The little right hand. This story is read and adapted from simple.com.
Can any plus in preschool tell us which seed was planted by the little red hen before she baked the bread? Can you hear us? Okay, preschool, preschool. If, maybe if you can repeat the question, Swedika, and then we can hear from preschool. Question time. Can any class in preschool Tell us which seed was planted by the little red hen before she baked the bread. Oh, can you say that? No. Say it louder. Which? Correct. This question is for grade uh, one and two. What did the little red hen? Take the grass to be grinding. Grade one and two. Can you please repeat the question? We didn't get it. This question is for grade one and two. Why did the little red head take the grass to be grinding? Where did she take the grass to be grinding? Where? No. Yes, it is. Where did she take the grains from? Yeah, please tell us. You are muted in grade one. We can't hear. Anthony, we can't hear you. You are muted. A wind mew. Not quite. <laughs> Where? Maybe Please. ask a question again, Cyrus. Why did the literal what this question is for grade one and two? Why did the literal where? where where? Why did the literal then take the grains to be grinded? To the vine. To the milk. To the milk. This question is for upper primary. With three, four, and five. Can you please please tell me about who what is the name of the person who has grinded the wheat into flour? Great. What? Yeah, some see, grade five has raised their hand. Okay, Let somebody in grade three. Which one do you want to call? Choose a class. Okay. Say that. Just call the grade. Grade five. The red hen. Not quite. <laughs> grade four. Somebody in grade four. The little red head. Not quite. Yeah. What the? She took it somewhere. She's asking where she took it. The name of the person who grinded it. She said she was taking it to somewhere. 
to the person. What do you call somebody who grinds there? Yeah, you want to try briefly? Great free. Not sure. The person who grinds in the mill. There's a name. What do you call the person who grinds in the mill? I think there's somebody's hand in grade five. Grade five. I can see. I think it's Elia or somebody. Okay, okay, all right. Come here. The miller. Correct. <laughs> Middle school, this question is for you. What do you call the person who makes bread like the little red hen? But you're very good. The person who makes bread. Mm -hmm. A baker. Correct. Thank you all for answering the question. We also work in group tuition on cheese and chips. Listen to our findings.
First, the flower plants the potato. He, then he harvests them. When they are ready, he sends them to the factory. At the factory, they select, wash, and peel. The peeled potato are sliced, salt, or spice. They are frying a big fire. The fried chips are left to cool down and packed in a rock pack and sent to the shop to be sold. You buy them and eat them. Yum, yum. We learn that we learn about how wood and cotton fabric are processed. Cotton comes from plants and wool comes from animal. We discover that both of them need a lot of water. They are both spun into yarn and weave to get different textures. They are used during different weather. Organic. What you wanted to talk about the impact. Mm -hmm. What is the impact of processing it on this environment? Come on, Nisha. You want to explain the impact of processing wool and cutting in the environment? Mm -hmm. Processing the material, what happened? Processing wool material have a negative impact of the, on the environment. Because a lot of chemicals are released in our water supply. Wood and pepper are processed from trees. We need wood to make manufacture different home needs. Toys, paper, etc. To get all this, a lot of trees have been cut down. This is not good for the environment. The consumption and use of all these products have great impact on the environment. A lot of water is used in planting and production. Trees have to be cut down to make way for farming. Gazing are used in some products. Chemicals are used in the factories and released into our waters. Pesticides are sprayed and a lot of other damages are made. To solve some of these problems, you have some sedation. When you cut trees down, replant another one.
we need to change our taste of some products. And the consumption of some products that are not necessary. We can reuse some items like plastic bottles and we can also recycle some more. Some plants can be used as pesticides instead of chemicals. Use organic fertilizer instead chemical ones. We, we make recycled paper in our class. We throw the papers into pieces. We soak them for some days. We Blended it into four. We put the pulp in the mesh and we used a roller to remove the water. When it was dry, we painted on our paper and here's our finished product. We got a lot of information from our unit and some from YouTube kids, books from every school library, and from our field trip. We hope you enjoyed our celebration of learning. Thank you. And we've just come to the end. Wow, well done, KG. That was absolutely amazing. Give yourself a big round of applause. You were so impressive. You found out so many things. You were able to share so many things. And you were even able to make a drama allow a little red hen. Oh, I think that was amazing. Now, I know that you had questions for all the children in the different classes. I'm wondering if any of the children in the other classes have questions for you. So would any of the children have any questions for KG about what they have told us? during our celebration of learning. If you have questions in your class, then you can put your hand up and then we'll take turns and you can ask KG about what they've told us or about how they prepared their celebration of learning. So I see some hands going up. I can see that the children in grade one have some questions. Grade one, what is your question for KG? What social skills do you use? Okay, so what social skills did you use KG when you were preparing your celebration of learning? A risk taker. Oh, you were a and risk. Communicator. And communicator. Excellent. Thank you. Another question from grade one. What was your favorite part? 
When I was saying the questions. Okay. Thank you. Another question from grade one, then we'll move to pre-K. Did you come did you come in kids together? Look at this. We communicated we <laughs> together. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, let's see if there are any questions from pre K. I like your presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Another. Hope you like your presentation. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Hannibal. <laughs> Thank so good. What's your question? You want to go think about it? Okay, so we can even think about your question and then come back to us. What's your presentation? Okay, thank you. Tell me that your question. What is your favorite costume? Favorite what? Costume, probably during the drama. Okay, well, okay. Uh -huh. Spider Man. No, from the play. From the role play. From the role play. <laughs> Which one did you like the most? Which of the masks? The dog. The dog. The dog. He said the dog. dog. Okay, one more from pre K, then we'll go to grade three. What was your favorite part of the presentation? What's your favorite part? Answer that. My favorite part is when I was saying the questions to middle school. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see if we have any questions from grade three. Okay, go on. Grade three, have you got questions, Favor? Favor, go on. Can't hear you, Favor. Is it working? I can't hear you. Hello, grade three. We can't hear you. Oh, okay. We'll go to grade five and then we'll come back to grade three if we see if they can fix their sound. Uh, we'll have a look at that. What, one. Was, what was some challenges you had? Any challenges when we're doing it? Who wants to talk about any challenge? Yes. The play of the little red hat. Okay. okay. Putting the play together. What was easy? Each song. Thank you. Okay, let's see if we have any questions in grade two. Did you get the story? From Tinku.com. 
Excellent. Any more from grade two? Or should we move to, okay, one more from grade two, and then we'll move to grade four. Tell them, see. How was the experience when you started? We didn't hear anything. He said, how was He said he didn't hear. Pethia, your question again. What was the experience when you started? He wants to share. I did not say when we started. Happy. Wow, thank you. Okay, let's see what grade four, if you have questions for us. Who in grade four has a question for us? What challenges did you face when you were doing the celebration of learning? What challenges did you face when you were doing your celebration of learning? Challenges, what was difficult? That was what was difficult. Do you remember anything that was difficult? Who wants to talk about that? Bears wants to talk about that? Okay, Bears, we help her out. Yep. They lied. Okay. The next person? She lies. That is the lies. But did you guys yes. enjoy making the masks? We do here. Did you guys enjoy making the masks? Yes. Next person. What learner profile did you achieve in your celebration of learning? Communicator. Okay, you're not done. Communicator. One more question from grade four. Yeah. yeah. Which approaches to learning skills do you think you you achieve? A communicator. Well, why do you think uh, that? Sorry, what was that question again? My question is, which approaches to learning okay. skills? He answered, but I thought you said something else. Yeah, I said, uh, why do you think that? that? Why do you think it's communication skill? Yeah. Are you guys done? Can anybody try that? Why do you think it's communication skills? Okay, Peyton wants to help out. Because we like it. Okay, well done, Peyton. Okay, I think we have grade three. Let me see if I can find grade three children. There we are. Nana, have you got any questions? Yes. What did you learn in your play? I know about. We learned that it is not good to be lazy. Okay, another question from grade three. What did you enjoy? Okay. 
class, what did you enjoy? We enjoyed the play of the little red hen. Thank you. One more question. Oh, two more questions. Okay. What do you think you can improve in your celebration of learning? What do you think you can improve? Come on. Sridika wants to say something, okay? Come on, sweetie cat, look at the camera. What do you think you can improve? What do you think you can improve from what you've just done now? What do you think you can improve? Who wants to help, Sudika? Improve means get, do better. What do you think you can do better? Okay, Cyrus. What do you think you can do better next time? Mm -hmm. Sudika, Cyrus wants to help you. The play of the little red head. Okay. One more question, because it's almost time, so maybe just Dara. My, my question is, you said we should stop cutting trees, but we should use plants to make paper. But if we start using plants to make paper, all of the plants will, and will be using plants a lot and we'll have mostly no plants. That's it. Who wants to respond to that? Who wants to respond? Yes. 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 What do you want to respond to that? Mm -hmm. Cyrus. If if you cut down trees every time and you are making paper at the time. That will not be good for the environment. You have to plant another tree. Can they hear you? Did you speak loud enough? Did they hear you? You have to plant another tree. Okay, I think now I'm going to hand over to Mrs. Akon. Mrs. Akon's our PYP coordinator. She'll say maybe a few words. And also maybe Mrs. Akon, if you could ask if any of our parents would like to make any comments. I see some have written things in the chat box, but maybe one or two would like to say something as well. Mrs. Akon. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Derry. Good afternoon, everyone. And thank you, KG, for your celebration of learning. We are happy that you were able to enlighten us on how products change before they are being consumed. Thank you. We also enjoyed your play. And um, for the parents, it's always a pleasure having you people on board, wanting to understand what we do in school, what the children are learning, how they express themselves. Always a pleasure having you. So would you like to ask a question? Is anybody interested in asking a question to KG? Or would you like to celebrate them for what they have done this afternoon? Yes, please go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, uh, it's really a it's really a great presentation from them. I actually enjoyed myself so much. Thumbs up to my boy Cyrus. He really did a great one, and also faithful. He's really really a great one from them. God bless you. Thank you very much. Do we have another person? Yes, please go ahead. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you. Did you give the chance, Gadel? Can I go? Yes, please. Yeah, I also enjoyed the whole show, but I would have liked to see a few minutes of on the spot question just to see what the kids say uh, on the top of their mind. You know, just uh, five minutes or something, but in the next one, not now. Okay, thank you. We'll take that on board. 
Any other question or ways that we can improve our celebration of learning from our parents? Okay. Okay, so once again, I'll say thank you very much, KG, for telling us about production process. My own advice will be continue telling people to, add, to, um, to recycle the materials they use during production. That will help to reduce air pollution. Thank you very much, KG. You're welcome. You're Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, Mrs. Econ. Thank you. That's great. And thank you to our parents. And as I said, there are lots and lots of comments in the chat about how well you did, KG. Kayondo says, congratulations, KG. Great work. Cyrus, your mummy says, a wonderful presentation. Peyton, your mummy said, well done. Yeah, Swedika, your mommy said, and, and, and Aisha said, well done. And Swedika, your mommy said, well done. Lots and lots of people said it was great and well done. So congratulations. Thank you to all our parents for coming. KG, would you like to say thank you to your parents for coming? Thank you. Great. And I think what we could do now, I think everybody can unmute their microphone so that we can all say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Well done, Mr. Gochi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for coming, and we look forward to seeing you at our next celebration. Bye for now. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. Bye-bye.